Hey guys, Luke here and I'm here to do a review of the Four Nations Grand Final between New Zealand Kiwis and the Australian Kangaroos and uh, I was pleasantly surprised by this game. I thought this was going to be an absolute domination by New Zealand and don't get me wrong, for the most part it was. Skyline says otherwise but I don't think New Zealand were ever sort of um, in any danger of losing. I know right at the end Australia nearly scored but um, I think it was some dodgy referee calls that got Australia back into it into the first place. But I think it was a very, very strong performance from New Zealand. Um, Sean Johnson, oh my god, that was one of the best performances I've seen. Uh, an individual performance in like the NRL. Oh, sorry, not NRL, but just, you know, in rugby league that I've seen. Um, I've seen a few a few games in my time. Um, Vatify, that the first try he scored, oh my god, I couldn't believe the pickup. Now, Johnson did all the good work, and then the final pass was awful. But, um, yeah, they just it was really good play up until that point. But that the pickup just... It saved them. It saved them from embarrassment because that that was a great try, and it probably would have been an even better try had you know it hit the chest of Vatavai and he just went straight over the top of Matatia like he did for a second. Um, but yeah, that, that that pick up that was incredible, and then to still get the ball down so easily, just great sort of stuff. And I've I've been a bit critical of Manu as of late. He's very hot and cold, but this was definitely one of his hottest games. Um, everything he touched turned a goal. Really, it was like a lot of the New Zealand players. Just everything they seem to do turned out perfectly for them. Um, I thought New Zealand started off, they were a bit nervous. Um, Australia, I think they were a lot better. Even though Australia scored the first try of Jennings, um, I don't think it was a very, like, it was a deserved try, to be totally honest. It came off the back of, um, I think it was Johnson and Vara getting a bit mixed up to each other, and they dropped the ball straight into Jennings' hands. Um, but it was against runner play. New Zealand were all over them, offloading everywhere, and, you know, that... It, the theme kept going throughout the whole night when New Zealand just dominated the forwards of Australia. Um, I think really the only forward who gave a bit of a fight was Clemmer, and um, he didn't get very much game time. Like, I think he put a he put a massive hit on Hiku, and I know it's only Hiku you can argue that, but you know in the end it's a good hit, and it was better than anything the, the other Australians did. I saw Thade kept getting in, getting into it with um, Kenny Dow, but once again like Thade doesn't really do too much. It's a bit of a push. Um, it, it's how it is with the no punches. I'm, I don't even know if international stuff there is that no punch rule or whatever, but um, yeah, no punches were thrown. Um, I'm not really sure what New Zealand's game plan was with Isaac Glug not playing very much. Maybe they just wanted him to be sort of an impact player. And But you know what? It worked. Um, credit to the coach. I think it was Kearney. Um, say what you want about his tactics, but yeah, it's, it's obviously worked. They've beat Australia two times in a row since for the first time since, I don't know, like 70 years ago, like some ridiculously long time ago. So um, they're doing something right. Um, but I just want to say, New Zealand, it was, they were going well, but when Martin Tapia came on, they just went from going well to just being explosive, just being dominant. Like, straight up, he was he was their best player while he was on the field. Um, it's very unfortunate how he ended up hurting his neck. But I think he's okay. He just a bit of pins and needles in his arms. I don't know the exact details, but he got on Twitter pretty, uh, pretty quickly and said he was all right while the game was still going. Um, but yeah, everything he everything he touched turned to gold. Same as Vatavai, like... He, um, Tapao just coming on, pushing off players, running over the top of people. It was it was awesome. It was really was awesome, and I'm really glad to see um, Big Marty getting in there and um, playing well. Um, he had a pretty good season for the Tigers, and as a Bulldogs fan, um, it was very sad to see him go, being like a coming through the ranks at the Bulldogs and being a junior captain and all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, it's good to see some of these younger lads having an opportunity and taking them um, taking them fully and playing well. But foreign, foreign. I thought foreign had a, he had a very good game. Um, I think New Zealand have finally found their combination. Before that, they were going with Benji and foreign, and Benji and Johnson, and they were always trying to force Benji in there. And then Benji left, and they were kind of stuck with um, a half pairing. Lulua, not the man. Johnson and foreign are your are your your guys. Um, that's who you want to go with. And I think they're the future of New Zealand. Um, it wouldn't it be great if they could line up with each other in the NRL? Well, I hope Johnson goes to the Bulldogs. That'd be awesome. Um, let's talk about Australia for a little bit. Matatia, I thought he was very brave in defence. Um, a few times, like when Vatavai was kind of flying at him, he got himself in the way. And, I, you know, I was pretty happy with Matatia um, just, you know, getting in there, having a go overall. Um, I'm really not not too happy with um, Tim Sheen's management of the bench and just the whole rotation, his, his interchanges, it was shocking and I think it just shows, you know, as his coaching really, he's not a very good coach in my opinion. Um, Cameron Smith, he was, yeah, he was pretty good. Cooper Cronk I thought was awful. Um, tried to kick it way too much. 
just didn't really do too many good things in general like that he probably did the worst kick I've ever seen Cooper Crog do. He doesn't really play too many bad games, but this was definitely one of them. Sherry Evans did did well with what he had. Like, he, he didn't really have too much to do because everything seemed to go to Cronk. Um, but, yeah, Inglis, super quiet. And I've been saying this my, the whole time I've been doing my YouTube videos. He just he goes missing in the big games, and this was it once again. There was one big run he did before, I think, Australia scored their, their try to make it 22-18. Um, but, you know, for the most part, he didn't do anything at all. I don't know how many touches he did, but it couldn't have been that many. Um, I want to mention the referees. They've been copping a bit of crap. I think, for the most part, they're pretty good. The only thing I have an issue with... Now, Australia um, fans... I am Australian, so I'm an Australian fan. I've seen some people say you got robbed, that we got robbed, and that um, the, the last trophy who scored it, Walker or someone, um, Matiati threw the... Uh, oh, actually, it was Matati who came in, went into the corner. No way in hell that was a try. I've seen Fox Sports, they got an image saying, was this a try? And yes, he gets the ball down, which, you know, good on to him, he got the ball down. The, the pass was a mile forward, so wait even looking at the put down. And also, if you want to get into, you know, being robbed and stuff, had a show, went on to win, go back to that try before when there was two forward passes in a row. The first one was from Walker, the little flick pass, and, you know, it was pretty good flick pass that went, like, five metres forward. And then Matati, he threw it about 20 metres forward, with his one back to um Hunt, so yeah, some some of those guys would have got to run the NFL. Maybe they should try follow Hain. I don't know, but um yeah, twenty two to eighteen. That's how it ended. I think New Zealand thoroughly uh, deserved to win this whole tournament, not just this game, but I think they were the best team throughout the whole tournament, and you know it's paid off for them. Um, they probably had less. In they did have injuries. Don't get me wrong, but obviously the injuries played a big part. Shay were. I don't know, maybe a third string side, I'd even go as far to say. But, you know what, they put up a good effort, and that's all you can ask for. And I am glad for the international game that New Zealand did win, because it would look ridiculous if Australia's, like, third team won, like, if they still won, because that's always been the joke of, oh, Australia, they can put out their third lineup and still beat New Zealand and Tonga and Samoa and England and all that. And it's been proven this tournament that that isn't necessarily true, um, although it, some of it is true. But, um... Yeah, that's all I've got to say. I'd like to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, check out all my other stuff, my Rugby League Live 2 videos. See you guys. Bye.